Here is another interesting piecewise function. Here we have linear and quadratic function, right? And let's try to understand how to do a piecewise function with three pieces, right? Okay, so strategy here is to first break down your coordinate plane into three parts and then see which part should be what and then make a table of values so that you get accurate enough graph. Correct? Take care of holes because there are points which are not filled in and then try to analyze your piecewise function and find some characteristics from it. Okay, so let's do it. Now here we can see that there are first piece minus 2, 2. So, that, so let's try to make a sketch of parameters we have. So our pieces are splitting the plane into three parts, one at minus two. So let me write, show this as minus two. This is one part, minus two, and let's say this is second part of two, right? So here it is less than minus two. And then we have, let's say this is minus two, and this is plus two, correct? Here we have a function which is like a line, a eh? line with a positive slope. So, in this portion of minus 2, we kind of have a line like this, right? Minus x squared will give you a function which is kind of like this, do you understand? During this region, right? And then later on, we again have a line which is like with positive slopes. We have a function like this on that side also. So, that kind of gives you a rough sketch of how the function should look like. But exact values, you can only get from table of values. So, let's make table of values okay so what I will do is that I will split this also into three parts so these are our three parts okay that's good so here we have x plus 2 where x is less than equal to minus 2 that means it's a filled in thing to start with starting point is filled in that's what I'm trying to tell you and then we have minus x squared plus 4 and here starting point is not filled in okay and we are between minus 2 I can write like this minus 2 and 2 right save space and then we have x greater than equal to 2 and here the function is 2x plus 1 and this is also filled in you see greater than equal to, I removed this that was an error another typing error okay now Minus 2, so let's start with minus 2 and go, reduce the numbers. Use this equation, x plus 2. So at minus 2, minus 2 plus 2 is 0. And then at minus 3, I get minus 1. And at minus 4, I get minus 2. That's enough, a straight line, correct? Now here, okay, let's draw this straight line. So at minus 2, we get 0. So 1 and 2 and then 0 and it is filled in so at minus 2 we have 0 right minus 3 we have minus 1 correct so at minus 3 it is minus 1 so, we so it is a positive slope do you see that and you know slope is 1 so I could get all other points like this in fact I can join it that's right that is my line x plus 2 which is on left side of minus 2 including minus 2 correct now let's do the center part which is minus x square plus 4 a parabola opening downwards at minus 2 we have a hole remember that part okay let's plug in minus 2 and see what do we get minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 plus 4 is 0 so first we write x coordinate of minus 2 and y of 0 and then let's try we have to go in between minus 2 and 2 so let's try minus 1 minus 1 square minus 1 and then we get 3 here and 0 will give us 4 very good and 1 will give us again 3 right there is symmetry and then at 2 we get 2 square as 0 perfect that's good so we start with minus 2 which is the hole at 0 so we have a hole here right this hole is because of this but see this it is overlapping to our first piece and therefore the function is continuous at minus 2 right there are possibilities of discontinuity at two points only where these 
coordinate plane has been split at minus 2 and 2. We found out that at minus 2 the function is continuous. Good. Minus 1 we get 3. So minus 1 is here. 1, 2, 3. That's the next point. 0 is 4. So we get here. 1 is 3. That is expected. It's a parabola and symmetric. So at 2 we get again 0. So that's our symmetrical parabola. Good job. And here we are. And how about this point? This point is also not connected. Do you see that? So we'll make a hole here also. That is important. It helps to find domain and range of a function, you know. Okay, the last piece, the third piece. When x is greater than 2 and equal to 2, right? So here we start with a filled in hole. Now if it is 2, then what do I get? 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1, 5. How about 3? 3 times 2 is 6 and 1 7 and 4 will give us 8 and 1 9. Like that it goes. And we can draw with this black ink 2 5. So 2 and 1 2 3 4 5. And that is filled in, right? It's a line with slope 2, right? 7. So next step we go 2 steps up. Next step we get 2 steps up. With the result we make a line like this, correct? That is the third piece. And you will see that this third piece is discontinuous at the value of 2, right? And this is minus 2. At minus 2, it is continuous. Do you understand? So, problem here, first, enjoy your piecewise function graph and try to understand how we really got this beautiful sketch here in the center. Second, Try to analyze and then tell me answers for few questions. First, first and foremost, what actually what answers do I look for when I see a graph? Characteristics of graph, which will include first domain. Start with domain, okay? Then it's range. And then you can say many things. Symmetry, right? And we can talk about intervals of increasing and decreasing, right? We can talk about turning points. And we can have end behavior. We can talk about intercepts right we can talk about so many things right asymptotes for example right so and there are many characteristics which you should look for in any graph this graph has a turning point do you see that turning point is at x equals to zero it is increasing from minus infinity to zero do you see that it's increasing right and then after 2 including 2 right after 2 you can see and it decreases from 0 to 2 and behavior as x approaches negative infinity y approaches negative infinity as x approaches positive infinity y approaches positive infinity right so these are like symmetry and it really doesn't have any symmetry right because well this may be symmetrical but not these two right so it is not a symmetric graph Anyway, so I hope you appreciate the method which I'm trying to teach you to sketch a piecewise function. Probably this has come out to be the best of the four which I've given you so far. Uh, and it does include very important functions, straight line and a parabola. Well, let's move on to other examples and see other functions, how to piece them together. Thank you.